guys, my name is Savannah and today is a short and sweet little video because we got another screenshot revealed for the upcoming Planet Zoo Grasslands Animal Pack coming to the game on December 13th. And that is what you're looking at right here, a little monarch butterfly. So if you're unaware, which most of you are by now, butterflies are the new exhibit animal. And I remember saying when we got the axolotl, I think it was, that was the first exhibit animal that I was truly ever really excited about. Like the, I think it was the first exhibit animal that I ever really covered like in its own video with a screenshot reveal and things like that, because normally I'm not super excited for them. It's cool to have different ones in game, but I'm never really like looking forward to the exhibit animal. Now that changed drastically with the Egyptian fruit bat and the introduction of the new walkthrough habitats, just because it was a different mechanic, an entirely new exhibit, um, and just, it was very exciting. So, and the possibilities of what could come were also exciting for it. We were all thinking birds, aviaries coming after that, but we've been surprised with butterflies and I'm as much of a bird person as I am and as much as I still hope to see bird species and flying bird species to be exact in the game, I am very happy about the addition to butterflies mostly because with the walkthrough exhibit and being able to make the entirety of the exhibit null basically you can essentially put these guys as, as ambient little butterflies flying around your park. It's one of the first things that I think I'm gonna test when I do get my hands on the new Grasslands pack is that you can kind of place this exhibit, make everything invisible, and maybe if there's things you can't make invisible, they're easy to hide or put into decoration, and then just have these guys fly around in flowers or planters or, you know, just ambient little butterflies flying around your zoo. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm excited about the fact that this time with this pack, we're getting five species of exhibit animal, five butterflies. So we're getting the old world swallowtail, the cloudless sulfur, the monarch, the blue morpho, and the European peacock. So five in one. So that's very, very exciting. And the fact that they'll be able to share exhibits as well. So you can put a whole variety of them in your one walkthrough exhibit is very exciting. I'm very curious to see what sort of habitat enrichment they get. So with the uh, European, um, European, the Egyptian fruit bat, excuse me, <laughs> we were able to put little climbing things on there, little fruit feeders, you know, just selecting some things to appear in that walkthrough habitat. So I'm curious what we're going to get with these butterflies. And looking at this screenshot, I don't really see anything that's like a dead giveaway of the, you know, things that we're going to be able to add in the exhibit. Um, I'm guessing most of this is probably built by one of the devs to to make the screenshot but I'm curious as to what we can actually add if they're going to allow us to add certain plants and things like that obviously with it being null and you can place anything inside the habitat that you want to or inside the exhibit that you want to but I'm wondering since these butterflies are specifically landing on these plants in the picture if these are going to be one of those selectable little things that you can add to the exhibit because they have a space on it that the butterfly can land. I very highly doubt that the butterflies are gonna be able to land on any plant that you place in there. They probably have preset destinations, just like the Egyptian fruit bats do, and they land on only the specific enrichment items that are placeable in the exhibit itself. Now we can't actually see two butterflies in this picture. We see obviously the big main one that's right in front of you and then one right in between its wings. It's a little blurry. So we see a couple monarchs. Only the monarch has been revealed, but worry not. I have pictures of all the other ones. So I'll go ahead and put the other four up on the screen now. So you can just get a general idea of what they're going to look like. Obviously these are real pictures of butterflies. So this is the types of butterflies that we're going to be getting um, other than the monarch. Now, going back to the screenshot real quick, normally I talk about the species that we are looking at. I'm just gonna talk about butterflies in general for just a minute or two 
um, because if you don't already know, very, very important to uh, the ecosystem and the habitats that they live in. Butterflies are not only fun to watch, but they serve a critical purpose as well. Butterflies and other pollinators, including bees, moths, birds, and bats, pollinate over 75% of the world's flowering plants. Domestic honeybees alone pollinate approximately $19 billion worth of crops in the United States each year. We depend on these pollinators to do what helps plants reproduce, which helps them strengthen ecosystems and maintain life-sustaining biological diversity in nature. Habitat loss is one of the main contributors to the decline in pollinator numbers. Much of the lost habitat has been converted for agricultural resource extraction and urban development. Pollinators are negatively affected when large areas of habitat are broken up into isolated patches by such development or habitat fragmentation is what that's known as. These habitat fragments do not provide enough of the food, shelter, and safety that these species need to survive. But there is a way to help reserve, um, but there is a way to help reverse this trend. You can create your own backyard pollinator habitat. Constructing your own pollinator garden provides food as well as a place for these critical creatures to live. Pollinators need all the help they can get and your garden will make a huge difference. Whether you live in a rural, suburban, or urban home, you can help protect the environment and add beauty to your own backyard. Just be especially sure to use the plants that are native to your region in order to have the most effective and productive garden possible. So that's actually something that I do every year. I go get a little bit of milkweed specifically because that's what monarch butterflies like to eat and uh, and lay their eggs on. So we plant a couple plants each year in just little pots in the backyard. Um, anything native to your surroundings with flowers that the butterflies will like to land on and eat from is very, very helpful. So if you have a patio or a little garden, consider putting a little potted plant out there with some flowers for your butterfly friends. Um, let me know if any of you guys do that already. I would love to see pictures of any of your gardens in our Discord server. That link is down below in the description if you want to share what you're already doing. But that's just a little bit about butterflies in general. Such pretty little animals and very important as well, as are most animals, to be honest. Very important for certain tasks that they perform in their ecosystems. But what do you guys think about the fact that we're getting butterflies? Are you excited? Are you disappointed? Are you hoping that in the future we get more butterfly species? Do you feel like they should have picked different species? Uh, you can answer all of the above down in the comment section below. And while you're down there, remember to leave a like on the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. The Grasslands pack is only a few days away, so we don't have too much longer to get our hands on it and start exploring everything that it comes with. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you can follow me on any of my other social media accounts. All those links are down in the description. And until next time, I will talk at you guys in the next video. Bye.